Hello and welcome, it's Bill Sklodowski and it's time for another exciting edition of iPhone Friday. Thanks for joining us. And uh, as you know, we started this new series, iPhone A to Z. And what we're doing is going each week, we're doing the next letter and we're up to B. And as you can see, it says <laughs> B is for backup and battery. Uh, because there's just a little bit to talk about with each one, and I want to touch on both of those. And honestly, we've done a little bit of both in previous videos. So um, I'll point you back to the blog at BillSklodowski.com if you want to get some more information about that. But we'll touch on backup, and we'll touch on battery a little bit tonight in iPhone Friday. And of course, if this is your first time watching, well, feel free to, uh, you know, please give it a thumbs up if you're watching on Facebook. Uh, if you have questions or comments, feel free to leave those, and uh, I read and respond to all of them. And if you have friends or colleagues who could uh, benefit from this, please feel to, uh, free to share it with them. Now, before we get into this, um, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you the craziest story. Remember, if you were with us, <laughs> set the Wayback Machine for literally just 48 hours ago for the What's New Wednesday video. And I talked about, and really kind of got a little hot under the collar with this new scam that's out there where somebody's saying they're from Apple and they found something wrong with your account or with your phone or with your whatever, right? And, you know, you have to talk to somebody and you have to get things fixed and it usually involves you sending them money. And of course, and this is the bottom line, it's a scam. It's just out and out a scam and they're trying to rip people off, okay? So, be on the lookout for that, you know, if your phone rings. So here's what happened. Literally 48 hours ago, I was telling you about it. Literally 24 hours ago, last night, I'm sitting right here at my desk working on something. My phone rings, and I got the call. Yes, they called me. Do you think they were watching? Do you think they were listening? Do you think somebody was like, we haven't called that guy yet. Get him. Crazy. So um, without going into too much detail, because honestly... I probably should have listened a little more, but I like, I laughed out loud. I, I looked at my, I'm, I'm like on the phone going, are you kidding me? And, and I just hung up. But I probably should have listened a little more to see what was going on. So here's what I heard. And it was very obviously a recording or a robot or something like that, even though the robot had a kind of a, an accent, a, you know, a, a, and I don't know my, Far Eastern dialects or anything like that, Chinese, Japanese, I don't know. It was a Far Eastern sounding voice, but it was also very much a recorded voice saying that this was Apple calling and that something had, a problem had been found with my iCloud account. And, you know, press, uh, press one or press two or whatever to talk to a specialist about how to resolve this. And it was at that point that I hung up and I should have listened and I should have talked to them and I should have, you know, seen what they are, but I just couldn't. I just didn't. I, I was I was both so angry and so amused at the same time. Can you be that way? Um, that I just hung up. All right. So if it can happen to your friend Bill here, it can happen to you. <laughs> just do the same thing I did. Just hang up. It just just hang up. It's so okay. Lesson learned, right? We're all we're all safe, we're all okay. Lesson learned. All right. Let's dig into the phone and talk about batteries and backups, shall we? There's something actually useful for a change here. All right, so let me clear that out so we can look a little better. Now, this is all going to be, again, uh, in the settings part of the phone. Both the battery part and the backup part are going to be in settings. And as I said, um, some of this we did in previous videos. So if, if some of this looks a little familiar, well, thanks for watching. And if not, well, hopefully you'll learn something. So jump into settings. And then what we're going to look, we're going to start with backup, okay? And all of that, as far as we're concerned, is under the iCloud settings. And there I am again, and there's my smiling face again, and the phone's still having a good time laughing with us, okay? So go into there, and then what you want to do is go down to where it says iCloud, right? The first one above the, the settings there, iCloud, and tap on that. And we did touch on this not too long ago, just a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about the storage there and how you can... I know even last week with the Apple ID uh, video in iPhone Friday, we talked a little bit about storage and all that sort of a thing. And it doesn't like the plug I'm connected to here to connect it up. So anyway, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's why I got that unsupported thing. Don't worry about it. But we're not here to talk about storage. We're here to talk about backing things up today. So... 
If you scroll down, you see the, the top there, it says apps using iCloud. And this is what we talked about with, you know, the Apple ID and iCloud last week. And the ones that are all toggled on here with the green, obviously, are the ones that are backing up their information from your phone to the cloud, to your iCloud account, okay? So, for example, if your, uh, you know, contacts or calendars or reminders or notes or messages, you can actually back up your text messages to the cloud so that if you need to get them back, you can get them back, okay? But what we're going to look at today is all is down here called iCloud Backup. See right there? It's got the little green, green and white circle, iCloud Backup. So check on that, all right? Make sure, for starters, let me back up. For starters, make sure it says on there. And if it doesn't, well, this is where you turn it on with the toggle switch and make sure it's green, okay? Now, here, here's a little new information for you. What does backing up mean? Well, all of the things that we have checked here and selected turned on, you know, the notes and the messages, the calendars and reminders, all of that stuff, and the apps down underneath as well, all right? At the top of the list are all of the baked-in iPhone apps like photo and mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, and notes. Those are all the ones that are, you know, those are standard iPhone apps, right? Down below, there's even more, though, and these may be all the other different apps that you have installed on your phone. All right, I've got Flipboard and OneDrive and Sun Mobile is my bank and Trello and Uber if I want to call for an Uber and, all, and Zoom and all that. They're all on there, and they all have the ability to back up their information to your iCloud account, all right? But the only way that works is if you go down to iCloud Backup and you make sure that it's turned on, all right, and that it's actually backing things up. And this will actually tell you when the last, see right down there, the very bottom line, the last successful backup was literally two days ago at 4.06 in the afternoon. Now, here's the important thing. And it's, it's all in that text there, but I'll kind of review it for you as we go. Uh, iCloud will automatically back up your stuff, all of those things you have selected on the previous page, right? No matter how many things you have selected, it will back them up, space permitting, and we've talked about space requirements in last Friday's video. But what it needs to be done is it needs to be connected to power, right? So you have it plugged in either physically to a plug or if you have one of those little, um, I have one sitting around here, but I don't think I can stretch it over to the computer. I have one of those little uh, wireless chargers as well. It looks just like a little coffee, you know, placemat. What do you call those things? A trivet or something? It, it looks like a hockey puck is what it looks like. And the phone literally just lays on it and it charges the phone while it's laying on that, okay? So the phone has to be connected to power somehow, all right? It has to be connected to Wi-Fi, of course, uh, so if you're at home, in your office, whatever, you're connected to Wi-Fi. And it also, the phone has to be asleep. In other words, the phone is, you know, blank, black, off, right? So those three conditions, and then the phone will back itself up. And it will do that once every 24 hours, automatically. You don't have to touch it. You don't have to do anything. So normally, what most folks find is that, you know, when they plug their phone in at night, and it sits there on the nightstand or on the desk or whatever. You know, some people use it for their alarm clock. So it's like, a, you know, it's on the nightstand, right? So it's plugged in, connected to the house Wi-Fi, but obviously it's off. If you were to look at it, the screen would be black, all right? So in that time, it's going to back itself up. It's going to back up all those things. There you go. All of those things that are checked on. If there's any new information, if you've added some new messages, if you've created a new calendar event, if you've done something else, like I don't, I've got Game Center turned on. I don't know why I even have that on. I don't play any games on this phone, right? But all of that stuff is backed up. Now, why is that important? Good question. And a couple of reasons, right? Most, the biggest, the most important one is that should something happen to your phone, God forbid, I know. But let's, let's say, it, you know, you drop it and it breaks or it gets run over by the school bus or something like that and, you know, you have to go get another phone, okay? Well, the good news is you haven't lost any of that backed up data because it's out there in the cloud. So even if this phone physically gets lost or damaged or destroyed or whatever, you know, I drop it in the pool and it drowns or whatever, um, 
I can still, I can get, go to the, uh, go to the store, get a new phone, right? And the first thing that will happen is when you sign yourself in with that new phone, it will ask, do you want to start over fresh or do you want to download an existing iCloud backup? And then you just sign in with your iCloud account. And we talked about iCloud accounts last week with a name and a password, right? Hopefully you remember your iCloud password. And all of that information will come from the cloud down into your phone. And so you won't miss a beat, right? All your text messages will be there. All your emails will be there. Your contacts, your calendar, it'll all be there, right? Now, when you do that, you may have to sign back in to some other services. Like if you had an email and you had two or three different email accounts, all right, you might have to sign, you're going to have to sign back into Gmail. You're going to have to sign back into AOL, whatever it was. But if it was Apple iCloud email, for example, it's all going to come right back and your contacts all going to come right back. So you're not going to lose them. So super, super helpful there with backing up. So really your only job is to go down to iCloud backup and make sure it's turned on. And then you can see when the most recent backup was there. It says the last successful backup, you know, two days ago. And by the way, if it's been a long time, you can also just tap on where it says backup now and it will. It'll just do it right, right away. As long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, and you know, you'll, it'll do it. So there you go. All right, that's backup. Let's talk about battery ever so briefly, and, and uh, not too much to do here because we touched on a lot of this, I think a couple of weeks ago in one of our What's New Wednesdays. But back to settings, main, search, main settings panel there, and scroll down, right? And there's battery. It has its very own, um, it has its very own listing, the green battery there, all right? So just a couple of things I wanted to kind of refresh you on there. And that is uh, the very top one, which I like, is battery percentage. See at the very top of my phone there, up in the upper right, it says 90%, right? That's how much battery I have left, 90%. If you don't care about the number, all right, you can turn that off and it'll still show, see it turned off the number, but it still shows the battery icon up at the top. And that will slowly kind of empty as your battery wears down. So up to you. I, I like to see the number just because that's me. You may or may not. That's totally up to you. Now, under that, this is something we didn't talk about. So let me give you a little uh, about low power mode there, okay? Normally, typically, one of my favorite words in teaching, typically, when your uh, phone gets down to just 20% of battery charge, it will volunteer the idea of going into low power mode to save power, to save battery power, all right? You can turn that on manually at any time. And if you do, it says right down there, low power mode temporarily reduces background activity like downloads, mail, fetch, and, and more until you can fully charge your phone. Like if you, if you get email or things like that, you probably know that when an email arrives, it pops up on your phone right away. Hey, you got a new email. Hey, you got a new email. Hey, you got, right? All right. That's one way that email can be delivered to your phone, all right? The other way, though, when you're in low power mode, all right, it's called, it's either called an automatic send or it's called fetch. <laughs> Just like when you throw a ball to the puppy and the puppy goes to fetch the ball and he brings it back. Well, if you have it set on a fetch setting, you won't be notified that you have emails because the email won't, it won't check for new emails until you open the email app. So then you open up email on your phone and it's gonna go, oh, bing, 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 you got five new emails, right? And it doesn't check for that on an ongoing continuous basis. It's just one way to save power. There's other ways you can do it as well, right? Uh, like it's, you know, background, like downloads, if you have things like you're checking the weather or stock market or all kinds of things like that, right? When you set it into low power mode like that, and by the way, look, the battery changes to yellow up there in the corner. When you change it to low power mode, it just turns those things off, which makes the battery, gives the battery the ability to last longer because it's not doing as many things in the background. Low power mode. You can set that by yourself. You can turn that on by yourself. Like if you're going to be oh, for example, you're going on a long drive somewhere. Well, I got a charger in my car. <laughs> I'm trying to think of why I would be away from the power for, you know, to charge my phone for a long time. But anyway, there may come a time, a long airline flight, I don't know, whatever, 
um, you're stuck in the airport. Remember being stuck in airports? Oh, I long for those days. Um, you could set it on low power mode, and that way you'd get more battery life while you're sitting there waiting for things to happen in the airport. Just one example. I'm sure you can think of others. Okay. And then underneath that, we talked about all of this, and I'll, I'll put a link to the other video uh, on the blog post for this one with all the battery things. But down beneath there are all the apps that are using the most battery power, so you can see what's using the most. That's really more or less just for your own information there about what's using battery power and what's not. All right, and it goes all the way down, so no problem. All right, so that's a quick thing on battery and on backup, and uh, I think that's gonna be enough for one day. And also a quick update on our Apple phone call scam. <laughs> All right, if you haven't yet, let me invite you over to the website to BillSkolodowski.com. Oh, let me put that up there so you can check on that. There you go. If you haven't done so yet, please uh, head over to the website, click on, on the main page there. If you click on the big Click Me button, uh, when you get to the website, by the way, it doesn't have the red box around it. I just did that to show off there. So uh, click on that, put your email in, sign up for the newsletter. You will get one per week. Literally, that's all. I mean, I do a couple of introductory emails when you sign up to let you know that you did successfully sign up. But other than that, one email a week to let you know what the two past week's videos were and also to give you the handout, the classroom handout for that week's iPhone Friday class. As I said last week, by the time we're done with this, we'll go through A to Z, and you could print all those out and have yourself a pretty nice little reference guide to how to you know, use your iPhone and get things figured out. There you go. So head over to BillSklodowski.com and get a hold of that. I'm also, like I said, in the process of putting together the uh, updated Siri tip sheet, and I will send that to you as well uh, when you sign up for the, uh, for the uh, mailing list. Now, if you're already signed up for the mailing list and you haven't got the Siri tip sheet there yet, don't worry, I'm putting it up on the website for everybody to get, so don't worry about it. I'll let you know when that's ready to go. All right, that's gonna do it for another week of iPhone Friday. Like I said, feel free to share this with friends and colleagues who might uh, find it helpful. Uh, stay away from those Apple scams. Do not talk to anybody. If they call you, feel free to hang up the phone. You have my permission. Have yourself a great weekend. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next week. Thanks.